I made a, a video recently and I was dry brushing some leaves onto trees and someone commented saying that this demonstrates why I can't find my place in the, in the art world. I need to find a, a, a random, ran, more randomness with my brush strokes, more natural brush strokes. Um, and I think they're referring to instances like where, say, if you was painting trees and you you'll put half a dozen trees all equally spaced and it'll just look completely um, artificial. Um, what I do in terms of brush, in terms of the video is about dry brushing leaves onto trees. Now with things like that, to get that sort of random brush stroke element so that it looks natural and not man-made or synthetic. Often I'll scuff the hairs up on the brush so the hairs will be going all over the place. A lot of people think, oh God, this will damage the brush, but it, it really doesn't. And even if it does, how much is a new brush? Um, they're not that expensive really. Um, but they, what that will do with the sort of bristles and hairs going all over the place, it'll give you that randomness, that sort of natural look. Every time I start a painting, I'll just cover it with water first and then I'll just bash a load of colour on and think, people think, oh, what are you doing? You, you, you're all over the place. But again, it's just to loosen up and get those random natural looking brush strokes in, like when you're doing the skies or the background or the distant trees, whatever. Instead of the artificial, equally distant, you know, where everything looks symmetrical. And symmetrical elements within the paintings is, is what you're definitely looking to avoid. I mean, sometimes I'll even close my eyes while I'm doing it just to make sure it is as, as random as I can possibly get it so it looks natural. But it is difficult. I mean, even now, like, trees are probably the, the classic case in points where you'll put some in um, and then you'll look back and you say, oh God, look, look, look how I've, I've, I've spaced them just perfectly, perfectly uh, equally spaced and it just looks um, a bit naff. But again, with anything, it'll just come with practice. And it's all about this looseness, developing this loose style. The looser you are, the more natural everything will look.